Uh, good morning for Fort Peaks, Arizona Wilderness Area. This is the other half of uh, Two Martians Visit, and today we're going back into the Fort Peaks Wilderness Area, which is covered in clouds this, on this beautiful Sunday morning. And we've had lots of rain here in central Arizona, and you can see how green everything is. In a couple of months, this will just be desperate and dead. So uh, this will be the first little views we're going to have of our little trip into the Four Peaks area. And we'll get it to all you good folks out there in the YouTube land. Now this what I'm filming now is the road heading due west up into the Four Peaks area, the Four Peaks Peaks. Up in the Four Peaks Peaks is known for its beautiful purple amethyst that comes out of the peaks. And there are still working mines in the area. And that's it right there in the background. But as you can see, it's shrouded in clouds right now. And hopefully by the time we get up there, they'll blow off and we can get some good shots looking back towards uh, Phoenix, Arizona area. Uh, here we are, back to this little canyon. It's Monday afternoon. Uh, I made a mistake by uh, turning my camera in the vertical position, so I'm back up here on a Monday afternoon re-photographing this canyon here. We're gonna, today we're going to take... We've driven all this way back up in this canyon. We're going to take a little time and go back up in this canyon where, where those little uh, granite cliffs are there in the background and go around the corner and just see what kind of beautiful things we can find back in this canyon here. And I'll just pan right back around and see this beautiful little granite canyon here on the side of Four Peaks here. On uh, Again, today on a Monday, it's cloudy once again. But here we... And here we are back in a little farther up the canyon and heading up in here. We're going to go right around this corner here and up into the canyon here and we'll kind of walk along scenery here and kind of show you what we got as we walk up this canyon a bit. Try to steady the camera here again. So, uh, there's this beautiful little rock outcropping here. Is a, kid I would have had to have climbed uh, so we'll stop right now and we'll go walk around the corner and see what we can find and record here we'll follow back down the stream a little here back and watch how the creek flows into the canyon here we back are a little farther back to canyon I'll show you some beautiful swore cactuses that are growing here in the desert up across this little granite wall here and I'm standing here down in the creek bed filling up along this canyon wall that I said I'd hike up to and show you and now we'll pan back down show you here our little creek bed that will be gone here within a month or two once the snows and stuff melt up there on the side of Four Peaks because we're on the westward side of Four Peaks again here and we'll just pan around and give you all a good view of this canyon again and Go up a little farther and take a couple more photos of this beautiful, beautiful canyon here in Arizona. And back down, we'll pan around and back down the creek where I came from. So, once again, some more beautiful scenery here. And we'll go up the canyon a little farther and get some more photos for all you folks from around the world in YouTube land. Here we are back a little farther up this canyon, starting to box in on me a bit here now. And you see our little creek bed here is getting some little waterfalls on it here now and back up around the edge here again and uh, take a couple more little photos of the side of our beautiful little creek bed here and we'll just venture up a little farther and see what we find. And here we are a little farther back up in the canyon. The boulders are getting bigger and bigger and the canyon's getting narrower and narrower. And you see these nice little waterfalls coming down through here. And we'll pan back around here slowly and show you kind of view of where we've hiked up into from where we left the truck off at. Down by the road, you can just see this beautiful, beautiful little creek running down through this beautiful little God-created canyon. And you get to see an idea of the size of these granite boulders that force this water up to the surface, so this water would be way down underground, but these granite boulders force this water up, and we'll pan up here. Another little beautiful outcropping right here where I'm standing. We'll take you up to the top of it here, 
and swing back around this beautiful outcropping and how these saguaros go right out of these outcroppings up to the sky with their little bitty footprint to hold themselves vertical. Here we go. It just don't get much better than this. Now we've gotten about a mile or two miles up in this canyon from the road and the granite has just come to the surface. You see this beautiful little waterfall going down through the canyon now. And I was going to stop back there and head back, but uh, typical Arizona little canyons like this, the farther you get back up in them away from the road, the uh, more of a slot canyon effect they get. And here once again you can see all these boulders, and between the climbing and the altitude, it's just sucking the air out of my old ass. So, but pan back around here and kind of see where I came from, back down this canyon, and... Um, you can just see it there again why uh, Arizona is just so beautiful. And back around this rock facing again. And we've done pretty much a 360 of this little, little canyon I'm standing in. And we'll just go a little farther here. And here we go. One last little stop up here before we turn around. The clouds are starting to fill in on me now. And uh, I hate to get caught back up in these canyons. There's a reason they call them flash floods here in Arizona because these canyons will fill up with water in a heartbeat. In fact, where I'm at now, the water was a good four or five foot above where I am standing now. You can tell by the dampness on the banks here around me. And we'll just keep going back around this another huge, beautiful granite outcropping here right beside me here. Kind of pan down here to the bottom of it. It'll be a mountain climber, rock climber's dream down this canyon coming back up here and we'll swing back up around and now I'm going to show, show back where I came from the canyon and we'll take a couple more quick little photos here and film here for people in YouTube land and we'll start hiking out of this canyon and once again I'll do a little 360 back up in this canyon once again to say uh, come visit Arizona don't live here because there ain't no jobs but uh, Come visit, it's beautiful just the same, and here we are, back around, we did a little pan in this little canyon I'm in here now, and, and here we go, we'll do one more little quick shot of the creek bed going, flowing along down here, and like I said earlier, this puppy will not be here in a couple of months, unless we get uh, heavy rains, and then again, it'll be back in the monsoon season, in uh, July and August, and this canyon will be a lot greener, and probably just as much water, if not more. And we'll just take one more last final shot where everybody can see how beautiful this little canyon is. And thank you once again. Here I was going to take, I wasn't going to take any more photos, but I just want to see, show everybody the massiveness of this little granite boulder I'm setting on right here. Down to my feet, going right back down to the little creek bed here. And this beautiful little pool we have here that only a few days ago was probably five or six feet deep because it goes all the way up to the base of those little rocks there in the background where those trees are coming out so this I could have dove off where I'm standing right now just a few days ago. These creeks come and go seasonally and with the rain that very reason I best be getting my old ass out of this canyon before I become part of the uh, river flowing towards the valley. So thank you once again, God, for all these beautiful photos I'm going to send out, hopefully.